with a pursuer blocking their exits is often about catching a bullet. Through stage one, we're slowing the pursuer down and when they exit, they'll often go into their criticism and their blame. That's one of the key exits to expect in stage one with a pursuer is they will often just come out with, but if he or she didn't do what they do, that's an exit. As a pursuer, I might say, I'm so hurt. He didn't call when he was going to be late. It's painful. You can never count on him. His mother... That's my favorite, right? His oh mother God. is exactly the same. And so. that's when I want to go zip, zip, zip. <laughs> yeah. So that would be an exit. It's also a bullet. Yeah. So I'm going to catch that bullet. When you went to his mother. Yeah. That's when I would want to say, hang on, hang on, hang on. It won't work for you to criticize his mom or to criticize his family or to criticize him. I've got to slow you down. This is a sign that you're overwhelmed on the inside. We make these big statements because we're overwhelmed and it's dysregulation on the inside. I got to slow you down and help you more right here, right now. You're feeling what on the inside? Oh, that's so good, Catherine. Okay. So back, back in. Yes. It's his mother. His mother is exactly like this. Hang on, hang on. When you mention his mother, I get all big and worried and I start cringing. I want to protect you both. His mother comes alive for you on the as a result of this internal overwhelm. There's too much. You start feeling so much angst. I don't know if that's a good word, but this angst comes alive and you you get up and out of yourself. If I just reflect my observation and you get more focused on him with your look and your words, and I've got to slow you down and bring you back to you. On the inside of you, what's happening right here, right now? You said hurt. A minute ago, you said hurt. I want to work with hurt. I want to help you with hurt. Can we go back to hurt? Mm. Yeah, I'd go with you. (laughs) You would go with me, yes. I would. Yeah, yeah. That's really good. That's really helpful. You reflect your observation. That's one way that you block the exit. You talk about your own experience. Like I get, I get, oh no, here comes this wave. Yes. Your observation is you get more focused on him and less on yourself and your own yep. experience. That tells me you're overwhelmed. And that's a generic term. People will not agree with the word overwhelmed. And I'll say, okay, so what is happening on the inside? I, it doesn't matter to me if they agree with me or not. But it's just a, it's a conjecture that helps them get refocused on the inside. Because if it's not overwhelmed, then they have to focus there a minute and say, well, what is it? It's so different from, oh, you just got critical of him. That tells me that you're a real witch, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, you know, like it's, it's like because when people are reactive, I know when I'm reactive and when I'm mean, like, I'm not feeling good about it. Yeah, no. So right. If someone says you're overwhelmed and sees my yeah. good heart, that in itself makes it safe enough for me to turn back in. Yeah. Those bullets come from very deep personal distress. And that's, always a reframe. We don't forget that. We can't forget that because then we'll end up judging or our clients will feel judged by us despite our really good efforts not to judge. For more hot tips on emotionally focused therapy, go to theeftcafe.com and sign up for our newsletter where you will receive short little clips like the one you just watched.